All right. In this video, I actually did not even prepare for this video. I just uh, hit the record button and I'm kind of winging it. Um, I am going to show you how to set up encryption on your partition, a partition for Linux. Um, first, I want to discuss the difference between Linux parti or Linux encryption method and uh, the Windows encryption method. With Windows, I hate Windows, okay, so I'm biased to begin with, but there's a reason I hate Windows, and this is one of them. I lost years worth of work when I used, when, back when I still used uh, Windows because of the way Windows does encryption. It is Windows flaws and fuck-ups that has caused me to hate Windows and become an avid Linux user to force myself to learn Linux to begin with. So, on that note, with Windows, when you encrypt your files, it's done transparently. The, the decryption and encryption both are done transparently. Um, when you access your file, every Windows installation has a unique identifier for the system ID. It's automatically generated based off probably BIOS clock and um, anything else that it can gather, like computer hardware. It's variable. It's never the same twice. Uh, that's how it's guaranteed to be unique. Well. Also, the system creates unique identifiers for user accounts based off the same, same variables. So your user, your unique user ID, which is not the same thing as your username or anything like that, is never the same twice. If you reinstall Windows, you will never have the same machine ID. If you create another user account, you can never create one with the same user ID. Windows uses these unique keys to, call, to create an encryption key for your account. So when you encrypt something with Windows, it encrypts using that key, and when you go to access it, it transparently uses that key to access your encrypted data. Now, is that convenient for you? Yeah, you don't have to type a password or anything like that. Is that convenient for is there a problem with that? Yeah. If you have a virus or anything else or any reason, or you just completely forget to back up your keys, which not even many people know how to do to begin with, but you can back up your keys. But if you forget to, or for some, any reason whatsoever, you have to reinstall and you don't have your keys, your data's gone for good. It's gone. Um, you have to be a, a freaking guru junkie to know there, there, there's a possibility, and even the encryption junkies that I know uh, or uh, am acquainted with have not been able to successfully do it. But in theory, there's a way. But I mean, you got like I said, you got to be a, a god with Windows to begin with and uh, encryption. Anyway, uh, long story short, you can back up your keys. But if you back up your key pairs and you forget to, uh, well, if, if you back them up, your data can be corrupted. Uh, on your flash drive, your floppy drive, your burnt CD, whatever. It can be scratched, corrupted, broken, lost. And so it's never guaranteed that you'll be able to access that data ever again. It's just never guaranteed. So Windows has no method whatsoever for um, allowing a user to simply use a password to encrypt their uh, data with. So that's not an option with Windows. With Linux, that's the option. And I'm sure there's more than one. There's probably quite a few different encryption methods with Linux, but I'm only aware of, and I only use one, and I love it. It's called the Lux Encryption System. It's uh, L-U-K-S, Linux Unified Key System. Now, how it works is completely different. It operates on partitions, not on individual files. And so that when you create a Linux partition that's going to be encrypted, the whole everything in that partition is encrypted. Now, check it out. Um, I put I don't have an extra partition because I um, I actually already have one that's encrypted and it's got data on it but I uh, I'm using a flash drive like I said I didn't prepare for this tutorial meaning I have not tested this so we're going to try this out together um, but to identify the partition that you want to encrypt that if you don't know much about if you're not sure, open Gparted and then look at your different devices. And here we got a three gigabyte device or a four gigabyte device. That's my flash drive. So I know it's dev SDI. Okay, so dev SDI, or in this case SDI1 for this exact partition, um, is the partition that I'm going to want to encrypt. So to do that, first we have to open the terminal 
and you, you're gonna have to use the terminal sorry if you don't like it there's probably actually a way to do this without using the terminal but I don't know about it alright the first thing we need to do is unmount that uh, device so type U mount forward slash dev forward slash in my case SDI not mounted my ass I just looked at it okay SDI 1 I'm sorry now we just unmounted our uh, flash drive and like I said I have not tried this I don't know if I can encrypt a flash drive I'm gonna try them so now what we have to do is tell it to create a lux partition on that flash drive so we'll type crypt setup and I believe crypt setup is the encryption uh, tools that Linux uses and Lux is just a system of encryption that's used with Chris crypt setup I'm not sure I have not done extensive research like I've said on a lot of the articles that I uh, produce on Linux intro I don't research how everything's put together and why it's put together where its origins are I just know how to use it so type crypt setup all one word and then Lux L U K S and then uppercase format just the F I'm sorry uppercase F format Lux format all one word then in my case it'd be forward slash dev forward slash SDI this will overwrite all data irrevocably meaning it's not reversible type yes to continue oh type it uppercase I'm sorry alright now it's gonna ask you to enter a passphrase for this partition make sure it's something you remember because if you forget your own passcode you're screwed um, but this is still better than Windows because just running off something you know how to access no matter how many times you reinstall Linux all you have to do to access your encrypted data is enter the password that's it alright so make up a password and enter it and it's gonna ask you to enter it again to verify that you spelled it correctly and you know what the hell you just typed alright and then it will say command successful meaning that it just created an encrypted partition now you have to uh, I don't remember oh now we have to open it I'm sorry like I said I'm winging this usually I, I do a I already made a video on encryption but it was old as hell and the, there's actually two methods to access your encrypted data now and plus like I said the video was old it was when I very first started doing shit uh, video with Linux uh, making videos and using camcorders it's shitty quality everything else so this is a new version I usually review what I'm about to do before I make the video so I don't have to pause but um I wing uh, I didn't this time I just went with it all right so we're gonna go crypt setup Lux open uppercase O and then forward slash dev forward slash SDI it's, we're gonna tell it to open this um, and then hit enter huh oh I'm sorry let me give you some space there we go Lux open same command crypt setup Lux open dev SDI or replace SDI with the, the partition um, or a hard drive that you are using and we're gonna actually we, we gotta give it an alias now which is kinda like um, well an alias so it, it's gonna be like a handle we use or a name we use to refer to it so I'm just gonna call it uh, data and just so we're clear like so you don't get it confused I'll call it data X alright and now it's asking for the password to open it and you type in your password 